Now, this is across in the Sossman's Field, across from 714 Pomona Avenue, where I was born and raised. And there's Arthur Hopkins, and he's using the old-fashioned plow pulled by a couple of horses. I think he did a lot of that in uh, Bailey Creek, south of Soda Springs, Idaho. There's a lot looking out towards the bay. It was just vacant lot out there during those days. Now that's mostly filled in, except Sossman's lot is still empty. It belonged to Charles Sossman, um, to his mother before that. Um, chickens, there's Bud and myself and, and Dad out in our backyard on Pomona Avenue. I took care of chickens a lot. I think that's a swing set to the left. I fell out of that when I was 10. I think that's when I ruptured a disc. We had lots of eggs and uh, we sold eggs to uh, uh, neighbors and friends and church members. Here we are planting, I think we were planting potatoes there. I remember planting corn and some other things. Um, that was, I think, at Saucemans again. Uh, Dad had a, a good victory garden during the war. I un understand he also had a good garden um, during the um, Depression and actually helped lots of folks out. Lots of uh, produce there now that he had grown. Uh, in here you're going to see um, different things, uh, potatoes, peas, um, there's a field, there it is looking east, up the hill to Calusa Avenue and the hills above it. Um, there were lots of these Easter lilies around during those days. Uh, there's a cow and a calf that we had. I remember one time I think we had twin calves and the, the calf comes and nurses here and he's nursing on one side and dad's milking on the other. Dad did a lot of this <coughs> growing up in uh, at Bailey Creek in Idaho. Again, I think this is 42, 43, somewhere around there. Dad used to give me squirts of fresh milk, <laughs> uh, and then we had milk right from the cow. Uh, the, there were questions later on about rheumatic fever. That's the edge of Albany Hill. It's looking south and west um, out towards the city of El Cerrito. Uh, a lot of open space there in those days. Today it's all filled in with the exception of Lotter's Lot which is right there with a the tree in it. I think that was a pear tree. We used to get in trouble if we'd go climb it. That was Sossman's property to the left. Here we have some turkeys. This again is out in the back of our yard. Here's Joyce with the wheelbarrow and she comes in and she's dumping some of the produce. Um, you're going to see her in the backyard here with beets and peas and there's an apricot tree. We had two of them. Bud and I climbed that tree and brought a lot of apricots out and I still have a tree today in Stockton that I pull a lot of fruit off. In fact, we just finished it a couple days ago. These fresh peas, those were wonderful.
There's the yard out behind us. There's a clothesline and there's an apricot tree. That's before the patio was filled in. They had lots of flowers right along the edge of the property. I'm not sure if they're working with butter or what it is here. I can't quite figure that out. Then we're going to see some corn, green beans, cucumbers, onions, more flowers. Here I am with a small watermelon and dad comes along and cuts it open here. I don't know what am I four or five here so I think we're about 1943. It was nice to be born in a home and stay there my whole life until I was 17 and time to leave there and go off. Uh, to BYU and into the Navy. There's a blimp. We used to see blimps overhead a lot. Sometimes they pulled signs behind them. Sometimes there were airplanes with signs. There's Bud and I dressed as Indians. And I think those are called hydrangeas. Mom loved those. There I am on a bike. You can see a lot, there's a lot off to the side and then down the street. That's El Cerrito High School back off to the left. Then it was the Browns and the Baileys and the Cadoos and the Sossmans and the empty lot and then I don't know the name of the family that was there. They were members of the RLDS Church. I'm not sure. Is that Ina? And Bud, perhaps this is our backyard. Uh, back windows there that went into the breakfast nook in the kitchen. There's the front yard, the uh, front window of the large living room. Um, in those days the living room was cut in half. There was a bedroom in the back half. Cantaloupes. When I was eight, I broke my arm, and there I am with the broken arm. Or is that Bud with a broken arm? Maybe mine was later. Um, Beefsteak tomatoes. Rose's dad would love those. Those little dots are the end of the old 8mm films. There were holes in the film actually. And here is Bud and I playing with one of the calves. Uh oh, not a stick. So there's the little calf. Now this is interesting. Everybody's loading into the car out in front of the house and um, it appears that we were getting ready to go on a trip and then the following film we do go on a trip. Uh, Dad loved to go to Idaho and visit his, his siblings there. There's mom climbing in. I guess she's going to be the driver. Somebody's standing in front of the house there, a young child uh, and it, it might have been Goni or maybe more likely was a neighbor right there. I'm not sure who those were. 